Andrew Huberman is someone I write a lot about. And I write a lot about David Sinclair and Peter Tia and, and these really just monumental figures in the, in the, in the current health space. And I look about at, at not only what their information is and where it doesn't really check out with sort of the scientific consensus, but I also look at the, their own like personal histories. And I get a lot of flack from that because a lot of people are like, I don't want to know about this guy's affairs or this guy's like financial dealings. But to me, it matters. Like, I think character is something that we're, we've, we've, we've I guess this, the politics we're in right now, we don't care about character. And very true. for me... I'm exposing someone's history, factual history. Some it's criminal records. It's um, you know, uh, you know the, the the conversations with people who knew them for years before they got famous. You know, people have had been scammed and whatnot. And I'm putting that information out in a way to navigate the health uh, universe. That when you scroll your phone, all you hear is someone saying a 30 second clip. Often is decent. Like often it's decent or it's promising or whatever. And then you don't have context to understand it. So I'm trying to give that context. I think a lot of what I try to do is add context as well, but possibly only from the one lens of, you know, does this neuroscience actually, is it backed up in peer reviewed data? Because a lot of the information we see online, it seems like it's coming directly from a peer reviewed replicated data point of view. And it's just simply not. 